introduce uh, uh, Thai, the first speaker for the day. And uh, Thai is a product marketing manager for Google Analytics worldwide. And uh, she'll be uh, giving us uh, a few words on a set of recent launches that we have just done two weeks ago at uh, Washington DC eMetrics. And I think many of you will be very excited to hear about them. And they are also summarized in uh, this white sheet that you have uh, in your hand. Uh, now would you like to wait for the projector to come up before you get some? It looks like it's coming back. It's coming back up. Excellent. Tell us again about the Forrester website. What's the name on that again? Yeah. So the Forrester report. Uh, the URL. Uh, it's yeah. analytics. It's actually. It's, uh, it's actually on the Google Analytics. The Google Analytics. Oh, it's not really amazing. We can hear you. You know what? Without the buzz, we can hear you fine. We can hear you fine. It's a nice prop. Um, it's on the Google Analytics website. So if you go to google.com slash analytics, you'll find it in the lower right hand corner. And it talks about how you can appraise your, really evaluate your investment in web analytics. Um, and it's not even specifically about Google Analytics, it's looking at analytics in, in, in general um, and how enterprises are using it and what they're looking for. Are ready to go. Um, so, go made a great plug for the new features, but I'm hoping that you guys don't read it, and because that's what we're going to go through today. Um, you know, I'm really happy to be here. It's actually my first time in Chicago. It's my first time at a Sempo event, and this is an amazing turnout. Um, the Google Analytics team was out here for the first uh, Google Analytics user conference that was sponsored, that was not sponsored, but actually led by one of our um, authorized consultants. And we thought it was a wonderful opportunity to also come out here and speak at SOPO. So thank you for, for having us. Um, I wasn't actually planning to present, <laughs> so you know, excuse any kind of roughness, but I'm very happy to share with you some of the latest features that we recently launched. Um, it'll help me to understand a little bit more about you know about the about you guys, about the audience. Um, how many of you are using or are kind of actively using or managing web analytics? <laughs> Good, good, good percentage. Um, and how many of you are using Google Analytics specifically? Okay, wonderful, excellent. Um, so what we wanted to, to do was go over the latest set of features that we just announced at our industry conference about two weeks ago. And you see here, we think that these features really add a lot of power and a lot of flexibility and a lot of intelligence. Uh, to your analytics and hopefully to your uh, to your online marketing. Um, here. So, as you know, as I've mentioned, uh, we typically have announced a lot of. Uh, <laughs> um, these are some of the key features that we that we that we have, and last year uh, we really made a big push. Um, if you're familiar with Google Analytics, uh, or if, if you're not. The top two, especially advanced segmentation and custom reports, are two features that you really want to take advantage of. You'll hear a little bit more about that when Phil comes up to, to speak. And so we'll, today we'll go and talk about some of the additional features that we've added. Um, so you can see here's a really long list. I'll try to give a brief introduction. We're not going to drill down too much into technical concepts. Um, but you know, feel free to, to stop me along the way, or you know, after Phil's conversation, after Phil's presentation, or, or after this as well. Um, we'd really love this to be a dialogue. Um, just in case, just wanted to let you know that these features, uh, not all of them, are currently available. I'll try as I go through them. I'll try to let you know which ones you, you uh, should be able to see in your account right now. But most likely within the next few weeks, by you know, November, you should be able to see most of these features in your accounts. So powerful. What we mean by this is that it gives you more power to measure things that you before maybe couldn't measure. And it gives you more power to analyze data in a, in, in, a, in a more robust way than you could perhaps before. So one of these is engagement goals and more of them. So if you're familiar with Google Analytics, one of the things that we've heard a lot from our, biz, from our users is we need more goals. Before, you could only have four goals. Um, and if you wanted to have more than that, if you wanted to track more conversions, if you want to track more leads, anything that you defined as a goal, you only had four. And you had to create a duplicate profile to create 